Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at permaculturenews.org. And they have an article, Five Ways to Prepare Beds for Tree and Shrub Planning, particularly permaculture planning, where you can plant some trees, some shrubs, some ground cover together. Pretty well read or well written article. It's talking about an experiment the Balkan Institute's doing. Talk about the benefits of mulching and green manures, but let's get down to the five different ways they recommend for planting and preparing garden beds. They are testing this, so hopefully at the end of the year and next year they should have some good results. But first one, inverted sod and mulch. Basically you take the sod or the grass, dig it up, flip it over, then put a little bit of mul straw mulch on top. Green manure, you plow the dirt, till it, sow some white clover seeds, maybe some marigolds and some other beneficial plants that attract bees and pollinators and maybe some ladybugs or predator insects. White clover, though, make sure you have to uh, scarify it. Put it in, I believe it's 40 degrees Celsius water for four hours, and then it'll germinate pretty easily. Dig over and sheet mulch. Similar to the uh, inverted sod method, but usually you'll just use a fork to fork it over, then put some cardboard, some manure, and some straw right over that. Regular old sheet mulching without digging it over, cardboard, manure, and straw, and then just 20 centimeters of straw mulch. You can also just use a bale of straw. Straw bale gardening is pretty easy. You just have to make sure the bale's wet and it breaks down. Use a compost thermometer to make sure it's heating up, and then about three weeks later, it might be ready to plant. At the very least, the grass and weeds underneath it are going to start dying away. So it acts as a mulch, as a fertilizer, as a weed suppressant, and it's really good at a lot of reasons. You can usually get straw pretty cheap, <clears throat> but perhaps you want to get some clover hay, though. Uh, the seeds of the clover will eventually germinate, might take till next year, but then you'll have some clover growing around your plants as well, which will help act as a green manure that you can then chop and drop and let it compost and put, reinvigorate the soil with more nitrogen. Of course, I will link to this page in the description. There's a lot of information in here, more than I could go over in this short video. If you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.